All right, today I wanted to review a book. A little bit different. We're usually always doing problems, but I figured today we'd review a book. Let's zoom in on this book a little bit here. This is Great Formulas Explained, Physics, Mathematics, Economics by Metin Bektis. Now this is one of my most favorite, I can't even just say math books, just generally just a, one of my favorite books in general. Um, and one reason for that is what I think the author did here was something that's greatly needed and he actually has a couple different ones of these. I think he has one on functions. Um, I think he has a part two of this book of the great formulas. And what he does here is he kind of he compiles all the greatest formulas, the most pronounced formulas in the field of physics, mathematics, and economics. But what that does for the reader, it kind of gives you a compilation of really important equations, really of the world, right? Because economics, that studies human behavior and how they purchase and move their dollars and how they perceive value. Mathematics helps you with that. And then physics has to do with the interaction of things in the world. So with this you get a really good picture of all the most important equations in the world. Uh, so let's see, first he starts with the table of contents here. He starts with physics. We have intensity, explosions, we have reverber reverberation, Doppler, that's usually pretty popular. Traffic, gravity, pretty popular. Range, braking distance. Satellites, roller coasters, that'll be interesting. Let's see satellites, and we'll go back to this. But this is cool because again, you can find something, you can go through this glossary, see if you go through or this table of contents, if you go to the, through this table of contents and find something that you find interesting and you can just flip through it and see a basic e equation for it. So forces on satellites. This is basically the force equation I suppose is what he's doing here. That's what that looks like, more or less. the force equation to apply to satellites and he gives you some examples and you can see that it's not just all math, the math is actually very minimal it's mostly explanation which again is really cool because this gives, look at this, we have lift so this is something we're going to study in pilotage so the faster moving air, less pressure over the wing the slower moving air, more pressure underneath the wing There we have airspeed, the four fundamental forces of flight, lift, thrust, weight, and drag. Look at this, we have momentum problems. I mean, just really good basic physics stuff that's all wrapped in here. Let's see 80, he's got some trig trigonometry. Okay. So he's going through Sokotoa, Arctan stuff. What else can we find here that's interesting? Heat, risky games at the end, 124. Just 124 pages, not very long, um, which is why it's kind of nice. So it looks like he's getting into a little bit of maybe some probability here. Yep, that's what it looks like. Well, he gets into some probability at the end. Um, really, really cool. Now this is really good, especially, I mean, if you're somebody that's just curious about the application of math, in certain fields or in a broad range of fields that tend to use math, this is a perfect book because you have everything from roller coasters to airplanes to economics and probability. 
um, <coughs> even traffic. <laughs> okay, but then also if you have maybe a child that's interested in the sciences, this is going to be really, really useful as well. Because this is just an easy read. Oh, look at this. We have decibels. Look at that. Okay, so we have you know these these kind of things I always find interesting. So obviously I have a I have a background in audio, so having an idea about these kind of things is kind of interesting. So whispering is twenty dB, normal conversation sixty dB. Of course these things fluctuate, but interesting to have it scaled like that. Explosions. But again, if you have a child... Oh, the mock cone. That's pretty interesting. So if you have a child that's interested in mathematics or high-level sciences and you need something really easy for them to kind of review or they want something real kind of simple and easy to review um, then something like this would be the ticket, you know. That's the thing. I think people think that science and mathematics have to be hard, but they really don't. And I think when you have tools like this that give it to you all in one small package that you can actually, you can literally read, you can read more than you are just doing problems, then it actually makes for a much easier way of learning the material because it's much more casual um, there's not a lot of pressure on you it's more about understanding and what you need more than anything else when learning anything is understanding so that's what you're going to get with something like this and it's great for a reference and you can also see equations in their simplest form this is basically all this is these all these equations here are based on algebra so they're not in calculus, which means that you don't really need a lot of advanced understanding to get this. There's no trig in, there is trig in here, but there's not trig in calculus, let's say, right? So it's all algebra, which should be pr pretty simple for most to understand if they have a little bit of a background in algebra or they're at a certain grade level. You know, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th grade, any high schooler should be able to pick this up and if not understand most of it by like the 9th or 10th, they're going to start to be curious about this enough to where it will coincide with the progression of their studies. So they'll start to learn a lot of this simultaneously as they get into Algebra 1 and Algebra 2 and it would just become, it's a good companion because this is a great companion. Something like this would be a great companion to something like, let's say, Algebra 2 because most of the fundamentals would be covered in Algebra 1 and some of the more interesting stuff might be covered in Algebra 2 and that would be a great thing for somebody um, because this is one of the things that I strive for and I think that's missing in in the field of mathematics and education is something that I want to advocate for, and that's having companions to your studies that actually uh, materialize what you're learning. Many times, especially when it comes to mathematics, people are so many years away from actually applying what they're learning that it's drudgery, and they can't see the point, and they don't understand why they're doing it, and they, they, they themselves don't even know how they might apply it. Something like this shows you exactly why you'd want to know and how it's applied. And it's mostly verbalized and it's not um, just written out in a bunch of problems. Greatest formulas explained. Metten Bectus. Check it out.